asks why I'm changing the pipe, but I'll tell you again. About I didn't, I didn't put a blue lock, so much blue lock tight. So what do you do if weather is like this? Nothing. You adapt. This is the hand we're dealt with. I have to get I have to get this done. It's gonna be done today. More custom cycles. I'm going to install the Bassani Superbike. I'm soaked. I'm completely soaked. Let me pull the bike in. This is look at this. Look how much water this bike has just gone through. It is pouring it's dirty it's dirty out there dirty got some parts over here for somebody look at that Great. what do you got here Bassani super bike right yes yeah. that's what it's called super bike muffler yeah, it's or it's the header is the same for uh, the, the header is the same yeah um, this can is different gotcha Gonna give it a nice deep tone, I believe. I haven't done one yet. Honestly. No, deep didn't you tone? have one? Not one this, of your bikes. Not the skin. Um, I had. I, I've done the. We've done all the road rages, the ones, two, or the twos and threes. So it's a, a, a newer model, newer design, newer. I've it's, seen it around. It's maybe a year and a half at okay. this point, maybe two years. You can see the welds, really right nicely done. And they get you. Yep. Give me a second, I Sounds need to like read the manual. Sounds like somebody complaining about the weather. Oh, we got something over here. Whoa, look at this drift. Nice. Uh, way, my bike was the first. Damn it. No worries. Taking off this a wiki that I actually enjoyed a lot the last year. I think I've told you in the past why I'm changing the pipe. But I'll tell you again. So I've been running the Sawiki for the past year. Sounded great, looks great. Very happy with it. But I'm doing an install that involves the rear part. It's going to be, I think I talked to you about it in the past, different saddlebags. And this pipe is slightly too high up and it doesn't allow me to install a bracket right here to support the bags. So the Sawiki has to come off and the Bassani goes on. Now the Bassani, I know, I've seen already it being installed on a bike that had the setup that I'm planning. So that's why I'm installing the Bassani that is killer sound, killer looks. And uh, that's gonna solve my issue with the next install over here. Well, we're having trouble getting to the O2 sensor over here because we got limited access uh, because of this uh, chin, not chin spoiler. Yeah, it is a chin yeah. spoiler, yeah. So we have to take the chin spoiler off and it's coming off right now. I'm not sure I'm gonna put the spoiler, the, uh, the chin spoiler back on again, I have to see. Okay, O2 sensor, where, oh, it was connected. Uh, down below. Down below, got you right there. Right oh, there. that's why we need to take it out. Yeah. Now, are we gonna need to take the floorboard off? I'm gonna take it off just in case. We don't need to do it for this pipe, but right. I don't know what the other pipe's oh, gonna look you. like. Oh, I got you, I got you. Just two screws takes it right off. With a bigger gun. That's my forward control conversion that I did. Bigger gun. Uh, I didn't. I didn't put a blue lock. So much blue lock tight. The big guns. Got movement there. Good. Okay. Good. I think this pipe. I think the Sawiki that I had was really nice. The design. The only problem I have with with their design is like they didn't. They did here a nicely curved uh, heat shield, but here they didn't do any heat shield, and I had to like rig two straight ones. Not too nice. Holy shift. Holy shift, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the Basani comes with uh, everything we need, right? All the clamps. Oh, the ST, the ST bracket. That's perfect. The ST bracket. Uh, reducer for the O2 sensor if needed. We do. And how about, I don't see a gasket for the... No, most exhausts don't come with gaskets. There's okay. only a few brands that do. So, um, I, I always have them. Right, okay. Mike says it's the first time he's installing this, this can, the Superbike can. Let me show you what it looks like. Up close. Show you the side. Oh, there's like no baffle in it. It's like completely open. Well, there is somewhat of a baffle, but it's like probably gonna be very loud. Yeah, and the one thing I said, uh, the Sawiki was relatively loud, uh, sometimes obnoxiously loud. On long trips, it was uh, noisy. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be in your face. I'm just gonna pull the exhaust now and I'm okay. gonna pull the bags. The exhaust is ready to come off. Yeah. You're gonna pack it and uh, somebody wants to buy it, uh, hit me up on my, uh, on holyshift.us. Ooh, it's got the fancy puller. Yeah, it's all snap on all day here. That's snap-on as well, that's it? Of course. Oh, it all came in one, wow, look. Yeah, one piece. So we're gonna transfer the flanges and get the clips and get the oh, okay. to the new exhaust. These always get moved over from uh, one pipe to the like other. Like, these are factory. Yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna use these O2 sensors, why not? We're gonna put those back in once I tune. But oh, right, you're gonna use your own. I have to tune with the wide bands. Right, right. Nice pipe it was, the Sawiki. Served me nice. Like the color on it, and it got over time. The funny story how I got these heat shields to look uh, bronze initially. I couldn't, I wasn't patient. I might just do the same thing with these, we'll see. Um, if I Run it on the dyno with it? It probably will. Be, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it with dyno next video. It's a dyno session. You get to follow with the steps of uh, the tuning. Oh, look at Sami. He's cleaning my bike. Sami is a, a detailing freak. He, he, he details his bike pretty much every day. The blue and a chrome bike. You know his bike. I'll pack them up. I'll put that in uh, that box. If you live uh, on the other coast, I can actually ship it out to you. So just write a comment. Just hit me up on Instagram or on my website. I'm just gonna dry fit it. Okay. Because I want to see where these uh, bungs lay out before I put my my wide bands in. Okay. Here, sorry, it's over fine. So I like to pre-install the wide band O2s for the dyno. Right. So I, if I have clearance, then I'll, I'll pre-install them. You can see everybody coming in and out. Oh, there's breakfast. There's breakfast. Anti seas? Yep, a little bit of anti seas on One there. of our buddies, Dave, uh, actually uh, he couldn't get his O2 sensor out. It seized up or, you know, over they time, the do. heat. I think it, it could happen in a week. Right, right. A little bit rust, a little bit heat. These are the wide bands versus the narrow band. Okay. Well, it's not only the fact that it's wide over here. It, g it gives you a wider range of uh, detection. Right, so this is going to detect from 14 to 16. This one's going to detect from 10 through 19. 19 watt, what are the AFR. units? AFR, oh, yeah. okay, uh, air fuel, fuel ratio. ratio. Yeah. Hey, here's my man. Got your duck suit on? <laughs> oh my God, it was crazy. It was crazy, you can't, oh my God, how you doing? <laughs> Everybody's here. Maybe senior, maybe an adult's gonna come over and FNR. See how they go in, they fall out? Yeah, so little crush, it, crush them a little bit. Just make them a little oval. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit. So you got friction there. Right, and then that'll go in. <laughs> So what are you gonna do with the old one? You wanna buy it? <laughs> uh, I'm asking Ryan, I'm, I'm asking Glenn is what am I gonna do with the old one? You're getting it. You well, I'm not gonna keep it. No, I'm not gonna keep it. It served me nice. It sounded great. Yeah. 
gave us good numbers. This is sound good too. This is sound great. I think it's shorter actually. It's actually shorter. It's shorter, a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. Oh, got gotcha. you. Which is great because usually with the shorter pipe you lose. Right. Well, Glenn, like I said, the, the reason is I'm installing here. I need a, a little bit more clearance down here. Yeah, for the backs. And this I know works. It it goes slightly lower. Yeah. Those acute angles, huh? Nope. I did the 512. What's that? She said, if you don't do that, you have major problems. Well, what happens is... It won't go in all the way. It'll go in, or they'll just keep spinning in the hole. Yeah. You know? The Loctite uh, is based on the size of the bolt. If you didn't know. Red or blue, you mean? Yes. No, I didn't know. I it's thought both. I thought it, it was uh, it was like one grabs more than the other. Well, Mike's got the big explanation on that. Hey, Mike. What? Give us the explanation on red and blue Loctite. Tell us the give us the explanation. Come on. Blue Loctite should go up to a quarter inch bolt okay. or screw or whatever you'd like to call that, uh, and then when you get to a five sixteenths, it's depending on the application. Uh, I also don't really like to use Loctite on uh, stainless into aluminum because then they then they tend to splinter on the inside and well they weld. Mm -hmm. Same thing with chrome bolts too. But otherwise, the basic of it is the bigger from, the bolt. The bigger the bolt, you want to go with red. From a quarter inch down is, is specifically blue. Because there's more more force used, more force, more movement, or what? Why is uh, that? Because the screw is so small that it's not going to do. A whole lot that that it's going to be need to be held in as well. When you have a stronger uh, a bond in there, you have a higher chance of breaking the head of the screw off or breaking the screw off in the hole or gotcha. causing a problem. I got you. Okay. Thanks. No problem. There you have it. What did I miss? Bracket. I don't remember we did yours. Yeah, we did this when I did the stage. You know this bike's got yeah this bike's got a big motor. I just got to finish. This is a 143 in this. 143. Yeah, but no seat. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't even have a seat. He's got a great back. This is going to, sh we're shooting for 180 horsepower by now. Wow. That's getting a Psycho Rama 557 cam. From uh, Harley. Okay. Because nobody's got to do it Yeah, to play I around. To, I want to fit the right. bag. It's, did you see it in person? Yeah. Really nice. What color did you get? It's the same uh, length. Pretty much now I see it, it's kind of the same length. Really? Yeah. It looks nice, man. It's going to sound really nice. Nice. Oh, it's going to sound nice. It's not going to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. You think it's going to be louder than Sawiki? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be louder. Oh, oh. Ripple elbows. <laughs> yeah, Pablo is supposed to be here already. It will slightly. Slightly. This rain is killing us, man. Rain sucks. You'll be done. I'm going to start it up to test the uh, see for leaks. Check the leaks. Out. Leaks? In the front. Deeper. Yeah, the other one is more rapid. Yeah. Heat shields coming on. And to the baby on the deep. Oh, yeah.
second heat shield going on. And then we're gonna, we're gonna tune it. That's a separate video. Check out the tuning video. People love the close-ups, you know? We're done, we're clean up, clean up time. Oh, wait, let's check if, uh, if the bag, the right bag uh, fits on properly. Let me go get the bag. But it looks very nice, very nice. We'll run it on the dyno and you'll hear. Not much. With this uh, Bassani bracket right here, when you install it, it's gonna be extremely tight and you can't get a full lock over here, right here. You see, you can't get a full lock. So Mike says that his, from his experience, what you do is you loosen up these two right there. If you get and the then right source fit. If you get the right, uh, yeah, right bit. And then you've got some play over here. So you push it in and then tighten it back up again. And that, that brings the whole uh, bag forward. So yeah, even loosening this wasn't enough. We can't push it forward enough. So we're loosening up the, the pipe, the exhaust right here, the, the pipe mounts over here, loosen it up, play around, wiggle it, and it's locked. See, we put, we're able to push it, play around with it, and, and it's locked. There you go, perfect. Yep. In the current position, when it's all situated, we'll tighten everything up, right? Yeah. So, you know, a little bit of play uh, with uh, the, the final position to get it aligned. It was simply, the bag wasn't moving forward enough for it to lock in place. We're done, now we're gonna roll it into the dyno station right there. I tune the bike, make sure to check after this video, we're gonna have uh, the dyno itself, the dyno tune session. We're gonna do uh, two hours at least now. That's it for the install at this stage. It came out really, really sweet. Mike from Tor Custom Cycles. You saw how he works. Check it out, it's in Hackensack. I'll put a, a link down below where you can have his, this job done. And if you want this pipe, this exact pipe to fit your Lowrider S, Lowrider ST, there's a link down by the description where you can just click it and it takes you directly to that specific pipe. Tor Custom Cycles in Hackensack, New Jersey. Stay tuned, come again and watch the Dino Tune session that we're just gonna start right now. But that's gonna be a separate video. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift, guys. Till the next video, peace out.